so uh, I mean the guy was so nice in front of uh, from the store in front maybe. Yes. Ugh, we're still in Paris. I love Paris, so I miss it. I don't want to take this trip. Let's just go back into the past and come back into the future. We're back in Paris. Do you want me to get some food out? Not bad. It's not bad. It's what not is it bad. exactly? Raw pasta? Bella Italia. It's good to go to other countries. You learn some new tricks. Perfect. Why did you want to drive to Greece instead of just flying? Why? Yeah. It was in order to make sure not the destination. But the trip was the feature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't it an abandoned town? Yeah, we're in abandoned town. It was abandoned. They're redoing it. This village was completely avvolto dalla foresta. Mi sentivo più come un pioniere, forse, piuttosto che una una persona che doveva far rinascere un luogo. This is the piazza. It would be the piazza of the village. So we know that there were uh, this part of the valley è stata già usata, è già stata frequentata uh, in epoca appunto pre-romana. Allora, questa è Casa Alpio, è la casa dove con Paola e uh, da sei mesi anche Emil. So it's a temporary one, actually. It's not finished yet, but for the moment it's uh, livable and uh, it's nice and we can have a life here. There are places where things crumble in a beautiful way and uh, is that brush hour? Really big. How big? There's gonna be beds. How big? We have a whole gonna, room with four bunk sleep? beds. We're gonna sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> four bunk beds only? Yeah, because Papa's staying in, a, in an armchair. Really? No, no, that's one. That's one. That's one. That's a boat. That's a boat. That's, that's one. Oh, well, there! I can see the boat. Yeah, I can see a boat. I always wanted to go on a cruise. I, don't I saw want them, it. them, and I, I was like. Yeah, it yeah. 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 Patras is. Igu no, Igumen. Igumen Nitsa. Mm -hmm. Mama, is the is the ship leaving? The ferry doesn't leave for about an hour and a half. So maybe we can get out and walk around the town once we have our car parked. No, 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 no. Can we just go on the ferry? I love looking outside. You do? It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Please, Mom, please, it's safe. Oh, well, look, the smokestack going. It's starting up. The engine's already going. Did you see the smoke come out the top? Getting onto the ferry today. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's totally because... We're sleeping on it. Yeah, and so tomorrow, we're going to wake up at what? Time tomorrow we'll wake up? up and we'll be in Greece in the very early morning. Really, really early? At uh, 8 in the morning or something, I think. I want to still want to see Greece. Too. I've seen a lot of movies and videos on it, and they are really pretty. Why? And I'll check with. Ticket for the ferry, show the ticket to them, get in the ferry, get out of the car, find our room, explore the ferry. Mom, 10 doesn't work. Mom, I know what's going on. It's something F. F at the end. I know. What's the reception? Everybody's gonna see the video. La. Before the S, what is it? Oh, an attaché? Yeah, an attaché, try doing it in attaché. Try it. Can you show us to our room? 
The key deep inside okay. for open. The bouton down. And okay, the stairs is inside the wall drop. So have a nice trip. Thank Same you. Thing. Careful, careful. They, they told us how to do it. Pull it down and gently. Nothing down. Okay, let's take out Pull it down. Okay. E voila. Everybody choose a letter. Choose a letter, everyone. Hi. Me. Hi. D. D. Are you sure you want to sleep on the bed? Is the bed big enough? No, but Oh, yeah, it's definitely big enough for you. Great. And, and for you? Ness, is it big enough for you? It's big enough for a full girl. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm still not moving. I'm still not moving. There's a shower? Hiding right there. Oh, my gosh. Shower with different positions and uh, actually it has a curtain you just can hold in here. There are two positions to hold. So you don't so, fall. So you don't fall. This is like a budget cruise. Yes. Oh, because people share these. People sometimes share these with people they don't know. They just get a rent a bunk in the female cabin or a male cabin. My checklist is finished. It is? What's, what did you add to it? I said I would not tell you. Oh, secret. Okay. Ness, why did you bolt? Mommy, can you get me down? If you can't okay. go down by yourself to go to the bathroom in the night, you should sleep. No, I'm sleeping. I can get down. Uh, if you can't do your letter, then I don't think you should be up top. Oh, I'm scared to the floor. My foot go here and it slips. Okay, out. okay. My feet I'm holding it. it. I don't want to fall. You want to just come to me? Yeah. Just come to me. I'm going to try one time, but... Okay. Are we moving? Hmm? Are we moving? No. Yeah. Moving somewhere else. Moving this way a little. Mama. I think so, good. Oh, that's how you get down. Oh, show me it again. How'd you do that? Yeah. Come down. Can I do my things? Go like this. And then come down. Well, I have some food. Do you want almonds? Do you want... Where do you want to come? Prosegui para Cairo. Para Cairo, the Kiri and the Skept is an excellent. May we have your attention, please? All visitors are required to disembark. The ship is ready to leave. The navire is prêt à appareiller. Nous prions les visiteurs de descendre du bateau. Merci. Did you know you could take a ferry, a car ferry, from Italy to Greece? Uh, yes. Uh, there are. Uh, historical and I'm from Spain so and I'm from Barcelona for that matter so it's been very common forever since forever to have lines that go to islands or even from Europe to northern Africa there is always been this permeability since ancient times there are the Greeks Phoenicians whatever modern ferry lines was a continuation of that and actually let's remember <laughs> that the other name of the southern part of Italy is Magna Grecia and it's, it was called Magna Grecia because actually all that part had been part of the Hellenic world before the Roman Empire. Did you have it mapped? Yeah. Here's where the swimming pool is. There's Kids Planet right next to it. What are you mapping right now? Uh, this travel shop. And there's a church and a bank. No, a church and bank are downstairs. I found the church by the way. Really? Is it really churchy? It's a small room with like the whole Jesus. Okay. Oh, on eight. Are we on eight? Oh, we're on eight. Okay, so now we're lost. I'm not lost. You can find it low, right? Oh, she found it. What are you doing here? You're going to meditate? We're trying to go to back home. Oh, back home. Super easy. Walk down the hallway, go back up the stairs. Go back where what? Ah, no, 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 Water. No land. Okay. Okay. Where 
What is our house? What is home, James? Home? Yeah, what's home? It's a hotel. Yeah, but what is home? It's like live in that kind of like your favorite place. It doesn't mean it's necessarily your your house kind of thing. You want to go home? It can also mean like your favorite place, like where you go all the time. Go to your home. I'll help you with it. Not today, we're on the ferry. I know, but it's a perfect time to do it. When else are we gonna do it? The other times you're running around, you're in a hotel. Get everything ready? Ready this? Ready this? Ready this? Ready this? Ready this? Ready this? Yourself into a cat, just get a pleasant flower and put it on your cat head. Cat, get it. I don't think I want to be a cat anymore. Okay, yeah, after you do this. Can you please leave? Go, take a little. Take a little. Hey, make it. And then make it. Is it starting to get dark? Yeah, it is dark outside. of good luck, uh -huh. balance, and balak. And uh, he Hecate, goddess of witchcraft. I think that's oh. really cool. cool. That's kind of cool. Welcome to Greece. Oh, that's 
why they they went to the season. That they were connected to the sea, they were great sailors because of the way to the Aegean, but also because everything was so uh, mountainous. different continents, so difficult to go from one place to the other by land that they had to do the same thing through the sea. So from one town to the other, let's say instead of going up the mountains and down, they would just do all communication type commerce through the sea. They were sailors, so. Right here, right here. That's our sister right here, but I don't know. I mean, this uh, one. So, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Let's go somewhere. Glam Let's go find, find breakfast or something, right? See how bad? Welcome to the Grandma Plays and Grandpa. <laughs> Look, Grandpa, 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 Grandpa. when you go to Greece you understand that the Greece is, is the meeting point of the old world. Greece is obviously Europe and is, is, is for a lot of matters is a, sort of a strong beginning of a lot of values of the Western world. Well, at the same time Greece is, has always looked east and Byzantium was that. It was like Constantinople is uh, one feet on, on each continent. We are on the north part of Greece. It's called Halkiriki Peninsula. There's been troops and armies that have passed through here. I mean, it's, it's kind of a historic place as a thoroughfare. In fact, from Istanbul to Rome, you pass by here, basically. That's why Thessaloniki was kind of important in those times. And this is, yeah, this is off-road. <laughs> this is my mom. She's Great. totally comfortable. <laughs> so the idea was definitely to do something different and something that doesn't feel like it's a house, so that it feels more like a temporary place to stay. So I'm an architect and I understand how to build permanent houses. You need a lot of solid walls, you need to provide insulation, you need to provide sun protection. It comes with a lot of things. Stripping down something where you can only inhabit it for smaller period of time means that you can strip away a lot of the other requirements so there's no heating there's no glass there's no provision for cold weather so it's just to enjoy being outside basically
Yeah, it's hard to get away from stuff, especially if you live in a city, right? Yeah. A daily is doing just that. You just get away from your work, your job, any responsibilities you have, mm -hmm. and just like go wherever the current takes you. Really? It is actually that? It's filling up. It's filling up. Ah. Swim, swim up. Oh, below. Yeah, well. Look at that thing. What if you were just walking around with your horse trying to move house and all of a sudden you said, whoa, what's that? It's kind of crazy. Yeah, come down for some more salad. You want some more? Come, I'll show you the next temple. This, this is a jewel. They think it's the same architect that did Parthenon, the same architect. And it was the only, it's the only te ancient Greek temple that has still part of the ceiling. This one. That temple was built for Hephaestus, the god of fire and metal. Greece is also a construction in the sense that modern Greece was a construction that came from its independence because before it was a country much more related to a previous reality that was the Ottoman Empire and then afterwards it was a, a true social engineering. People don't know that, but Athens was a teeny town for centuries until Greece became independent. I mean, there are pictures of the Parthenon and then you see, not far away from the part, and shepherds with, with sheep and no houses around. My friend Yorgo said a property and his brothers. They inherited this property, which is on the other side of this hill. He wanted to do something. Now, the thing is that uh, Yoro's family likes camping a lot. Uh, and we both were for this idea of, you know, doing something simple. We said, now that's an old house. It's whitewashed. We, yeah. we did not keep that look. Like when you have a vacation house, vacation house means I don't have to work. Ecologia, Ecos is a home, but it's also shelter and it's your surroundings. Home is your surroundings, it's not a house. It doesn't mean that it has four walls and a door and a window and air conditioning and all that. It's, it's where you live. Four walls makes a shelter. <laughs> And then you start making choices about that shelter. I mean, whether you want to enter and exit, you want to stay in there forever, whether you want to get drained in, whether you want to have a view of the outside and what kind of view we want to have and why. So, you know, you come out of here and you, you just say your good mornings. You know, if it's raining, you just wave at each other. It, it's raining today, thank you. <laughs> 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 we, we better stay up and not cooking today. <laughs> I wanted it to be two rooms. Like they have their own stuff here and you can go with your stuff there and leave this... Uh, and privacy. Uh, no, and, and you have privacy. your privacy. It puts things into a different perspective, I think, when you make this move to live in a place like this. Even if it's not your mentality, but you take a chance at a place like this, I think it will change you. We have a friend who used to come and sleep here. Inside? Yes. You know, in the summertime, the walls are bigger than a meter, so it's so cool. <gasps> come and follow me. Come inside. Low, 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 okay, low. really low. Come inside. We used to come in here and just sit behind this open window and see the view and imagine 
in life, you know, there are things you may pass by and not notice. And suddenly you see something that you see every day and then you discover the view of how can you really enjoy this, what you see. And you haven't noticed before. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing. But then you say, wow, it has always been there. Just needed waiting to be discovered. I think that's the beauty of it though, that you see something and you're like, my God, I never thought of that. But the moment you see it, it's familiar. I think that's something that art provides. Kind of, it shows you the obvious in many ways. So I have some um, water powers, I love water. Yeah. I mean, you have the, the, you have the photograph and you have the drawing. The photograph is exactly what you see, mm -hmm. and the drawing is what you see in what you see. <laughs> to, to pinpoint the obvious. So I think with uh, the architect's work, aside from whatever is functional that you have to provide for, for your client, <laughs> you need to bring out the obvious, you know, to remind them. This is our outdoors window. Isn't that beautiful? Hello. <laughs> Things have to be discovered. They are there. You see them every day, but you don't know they are there. When you call home your country, whatever, where you, your place where you come from, you're probably not even going to describe a house. You may describe a tree, the weather, the lighting, the food, maybe the music. And at some point you may say, there is actually this nice structure over there. But yeah. when you talk structure, you have already gotten, you have gone modern. When they used to say the house of someone, they, I don't think they referred to the property, they referred to the family, they referred to the, the place where the family grew. But uh, they never, it was not actually about a house. It was about uh, everything else but the house. The house was just um, a landmark to define the, where that family grew. But it wasn't, it's not the house that defined it. Electricity. Yeah, see what he needs. Yeah. We'll pull up here? Yeah. I think he's thirsty, Mom. No, I think he's asking for something. Gas? <laughs> How do you do it, Bob? He just went down the hill. He really wanted to get back there, didn't he? The road here arrived in 1978. Can you imagine? 78, yesterday. Go to Gary. Close and We first went to the moon, yeah. and then <laughs> the road arrived in Bathia. That's the castle. 
and that was the thing. There was a difficult communication between the villages from the mainland, so they developed communication with the rest of the world by the sea. That was the path. Until 1978, that was the path. The people used to go to the rest of Tanaran area through that path. For hundreds of years, that was their way to communicate with the rest of money. They, they, they walk a lot. This little settlement was a typical money, we call it Xemoni, from the prefix Xe, which means a distance from something, as we say xenophobia, and money, which means alone, as we say monotony, monography. So Xemoni is a small family settlement, which is made mainly by a certain family who leaves the main settlement, the main village, because they lost a war with a neighbor or they cannot stand the neighbor, or they have children to defend the family. So they make their own village, literally, with the war towers, with a watchtower, with a cemetery, with an olive press, with a church. So this is a family village. That's why you will see in Mani small settlements, extra small in size because they belong to different families. That's why they had stone protection in their windows, in order to be able to shoot the enemy from the window. Actually, this is our... Uh, this is the kitchen. F five by five meters. It's a 25 square meter footprint. Walls are included. <laughs> Thickness of the wall. <laughs> well, the thick walls, right? They're very thick. Wow. This is the trap door which goes to the second room. All the rooms were interconnected. You can see how they had, on those days, uh, wooden ladders in case of emergency and close that trap door when they are on the upper floor. They had movable wooden ladder so they can take the ladder up and leave the intruder down. You see how they formed these steps here. So actually you immediately turn from the last step of the wooden ladder to the stone steps of the vault and go up. The building was up to this level here. So it didn't come any higher? It was up, up to here up to here. That stone was existing and that's it. So we just completed the building according to the coordinations and the sizes of the tower. And we managed to have this mezzanine. So this is a place where you added new without trying to make it old at all. Exactly. So for example, we, we didn't know the height of this door and we went to Vathia village. We saw the height of this balcony doors in Vathia, and we did simply the same. So here was half door in the original building, and we completed the door, and we found the size of this balcony, and two wooden stools for the guests to sit, enjoy the view, and count the stars, maybe. <laughs> so a tiny little balcony. I mean, that's yes. just about... This is, yes, that was the size of a typical balcony in the area. The pool's already lined up. Be careful. Be careful. It drops off the edge there, okay? No, but if it drops off the edge, it always drops here. Okay, well. Can we just tell us where we're at home goodbye? to our castle that we live in? Totally not someone else's. It's definitely all ours. Authenticity. That's my logo. Authenticity. Because we are human beings from all over the world. 
and we can enjoy sitting on a stone fence, touching the stone. Everybody from everywhere can appreciate this feeling. Can go like this? Can go like this? Yeah. Take it out of the way. That's really fun. There is the Mediterranean concentrator in there. In this little framing window, it's a perfect window. It invites you to take a look at it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. The cloud on top of the mountain. Well, this me like all the way to the beach. Yeah. Like a big stock up to the beach. Yeah. All that is a cube, okay? If you got that stick that went mm -hmm. all the way to the beach, you could just put it on top of the mountain and it went to the um, sky. It went to um it went to the moon. Oh. But you just need like a, mm -hmm. all the way to the beach. Okay. So bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Translate this in whatever Greece, in whatever language. Greek. I lost my car. We dropped our car into the terrace below. We dropped our car down to the terrace below. Look, I have a helicopter. It's drive it down. Nice. Oh wow, that's a real helicopter, isn't it? It really moves. In Greece, what you see is also a continuum of very strong cultural meanings that, that feel very timeless and that feel, most of them feel soothing. They feel soothing, especially to any Mediterranean or to any European for that matter. Being around small places that are not as crowded or they are not as thirsty, and for example, Greece brings you to these almost old archetypes. That's his job. Yeah, maybe he likes that life. You know, maybe he doesn't have a lot of bills to pay. Who doesn't like a fountain with a couple of nice plants and an olive tree and a nice house and then at the end there is a little hill and then you see the sea far away. A goat? You yeah. found a goat? There was with bugs inside of the We did it with We did it with Jordy. Jordy caught two flies. I, I, I like them. All sorts of pincers. And then you have a certain way of eating and talking at the table. You sit at the table, you give time to people. Except I took real animals. Except then we got to let him go and all the bugs flew off like that. You were so big. And then all, I couldn't even see because there's so many bugs flying. And then we got to shake the trees with these special tools and stuff. And I found a big green bug like this big, this big. This big. So you bring us a fussy ball, they take a whole wheel. You sit there and then there's this culture of sharing and then you wake and then you, you become modern again. Is this a ladder or a fear? Ladder. The water's a nice color, but...
the utility of the modern world has not yet totally destroyed that. Even the Instagramization of this world that is happening and is sweeping the last resorts of that culture will never totally dry up some of the sources of that culture because they go very deep. <laughs> But you literally are scraped with boo boo and stuff. <sighs> no, 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 no. I'm taking really. the shirts to show you home. So, like, I'm going to put my set of blankets and you're all warm and cozy. 